Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we'll prove what is called a trigonometric identity. Uh, and you have choices here. You can start from uh, left hand side, from this side, right? Do some math and get the right hand side. But also, you can go this way sometime from the right hand side to the left hand side, or sometime you can meet somewhere in the middle. The problem is, probably one of the first problems is to know what way you're going to do it. And usually my piece of advice is this. Look to the most complicated side. So looking here, I think the most complicated side is the left one. Why? Because we have cosine, tangent, sine, and cotangent. So multiple trigonometric functions. Okay? The very next question you have to ask yourself, what tools I can use, what identity I can use to simplify this expression here in red. And look at here, I have two identity, which we call them quotient identity. I'm going to use those on cosine of x stays, and then tangent is going to be sine over cosine, like you see it down here. And keep doing it, sine x and cotangent, you notice is down here, cosine x over sine x. And looking now to this uh, last expression we, we wrote, we notice the sine of x cancel out. So what we have left. What we have left is oh, what you see here now. And the next step will be to multiply distributive property. So what we get here is cosine of x times sine of x over cosine x plus cosine of x times cosine of x, if we follow that distributive property. And another equal, and what do you notice? These two cosine cancel out. We have only sine of x left, plus, and these, these two guys here, we can write them using the exponents, right? Cosine x squared. And if you notice, this is the right-hand side. So we start from the left, and we end up with what you see on the right. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.